Hey guys, um, today we're going to be starting on our pantry kind of makeover. Um, we haven't really done a house project, like a big project in a while. So we're redoing our pantry, which is behind me. We have a corner pantry, as you can see. And we never loved it when we moved in. It It's just like the wire shelving. It's nothing. Here, I'll just keep it up. It's wire shelving. It's nothing like to write home about. It's not very organized. So I've been on Pinterest too long and I want to completely redo it. So we're going to take all of the shelving that's in it out. We're going to take all the wire shelving out and we're going to make it like built in custom shelving. So I've been looking at Pinterest a lot, trying to get inspiration for things around our house. So I did find a couple ideas and just articles, blogs of people redoing their corner pantries. The corner makes it a little bit more difficult, but I think we found a way around it. And if we didn't, we have a backup plan. I really want to have like a white pantry. So painting the walls and the ceiling, everything is beige in there right now. So painting all of that white, having white shelves, just cause it looks clean and fresh and bright. And that's kind of the vibe I want in our kitchen. Eventually, you know, we'll probably redo everything in the kitchen, like countertops, cabinets, the whole shebang. But that costs a lot more money than just doing the pantry. And I do think it'll add a lot more value to our house and we will like it a lot more. Like we will find value from doing the pantry. So I'm really excited to finally start on this project. It shouldn't take that long. The plan today is to, we're gonna head to Home Depot here soon. We're gonna buy everything that we need. And so the plan today is to take everything out, patch all the holes, and then wait for that to dry, and then maybe paint tonight if it dries in enough time. I can at least paint the ceiling. We're hoping that Home Depot will, we have all the measurements that we need, so we're hoping that it's not super busy and we can get people to, you know, cut the sizes we need. So then it's really just, screwing it into the wall, nail gun, like uh, uh, assembling it at that point versus us having to do the cuts by ourselves, which is totally fine. It just, that will be an extra step. So first I wanna show you what our pantry currently looks like. I mean, I know you can see it behind me, but. So we open the door and here's the pantry. <laughs> it's not super organized. It's not like, super disorganized either. It's like in between. So we have all of our cans. Like this is really, really nice. Sorry, you can hear the dogs getting a drink in the back, but this is, has been really nice. So we want to keep this on the floor for sure, but we have like insulated bags and tote bags and just like random stuff on the floor. So we're actually going to be building a platform here to get everything off of the floor so it'll be easier to clean. And then I wanna get, I'm gonna get a bunch of like organizational stuff. So I wanna get like baskets or something to store the like miscellaneous things, right? So we have the lovely wire shelving. I mean, it's kind of organized <laughs> a little bit, um, but I really wanna get more organized. I don't know why that bread is there cause it definitely goes in that basket, but whatever. Um, and then we also have like our paper towels and napkins and tissues and stuff like that stored at the top. Like we just have some random stuff in here, but Jesse looked here. I'll show you. Jesse looked how to take these out. So he practiced on one. So we're going to have to like patch all of these holes and then kind of take this out. Well, there's stuff like attached to the back against the wall too so we'll have to take that out but what i really don't like about these shelves is this like it's a whole I, like i get the purpose of it is to um support the shelves but i feel like it just cuts the pantry and makes it seem smaller so the goal is to get rid of this and make it completely open so i want to get more Maybe like clear containers like that. 
um, more containers like this, to, like this has quinoa in it, but you know, stuff like that to store rice um, and like, you know, these kinds of containers. I also wanna get a couple Lazy Susans. So we have a lot of cool, this is all piled. Like I'm showing you all my skeletons. Um, we have like different kinds of popcorns and popcorn seasonings and stuff and like oils and all of that. Like I would love to have a Lazy Susan for like all the popcorn stuff. And you know, we have just, I don't know, like pantry items. And I really want to get a bit more organized. So once we get the shelves in here, I'm going to go and get like a bunch of baskets and just organization stuff. Cause right now, I mean, look how stressful this looks. <laughs> We just got home from Lowe's. We got all, all of our supplies there. But one thing that we thought we could get done at Lowe's was we thought that they would custom cut everything for us. Like if we were to get all the shelves, like they would cut them to whatever length we provided. But apparently that's not the case. The guy said they just cut it so it fits in your car. So that's why we had the weird setup because <laughs> we had like eight feet eight foot pieces of wood and shelves and all of that in the car. So now we have to make the cuts ourselves, which isn't terrible, it's just adding another step. We're like pretty hungry, it's pretty late right now. So we're gonna like pause and pick everything up tomorrow. Like we'll clean out the pantry, spackle, and I will paint while Jesse does all of the cuts. Hello and welcome to day two of our pantry remodel. Today, we're going to be taking everything out of the pantry, taking out the shelves, patching all the holes, cleaning, and hopefully painting today as well. So while I'm patching and hopefully painting, Jesse's going to be making all of the cuts for the shelves, the platform, the support, all of that. He's gonna be doing all of that outside in the garage. Poor thing, it's 90 degrees, but we're gonna first start with taking everything out of the pantry and just cleaning and clearing everything out.
all the shelves and all the fasteners are officially removed. So now we get to patch all of these holes. <laughs> So Jesse is making all the cuts today. I'm waiting on the first coat of spackling to dry and I'm actually gonna go ahead, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna paint the ceiling in here because I don't need to wait for anything to paint the ceiling. Um, a fun fact about our house that I probably have mentioned before is everything was beige when we moved in, walls, ceiling, everything. So I'm painting this whole room white, like ultra white. I'll show you the paint that I got to paint the walls, but I already had ceiling paint, like just flat white paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the ceiling. And it's weird because the ceiling's actually darker than these walls. I don't know if this is gonna come up <laughs> on camera, but like these are the ceilings. They're really, really dark and everything is beige and this is more of a brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the ceiling. Okay, I just grabbed this paint that was in our attic because we've definitely had to use ceiling paint. First coat of paint is done. It looks really bad. I'm sweating, but we're gonna take a break, wait for it to dry, and then do the second coat. Finished the second coat of paint, and it is incredibly bright. It's right in front of me. Um, so much brighter in here. It's a vision of white. I'm hoping that when it dries, it's a little bit more solid, because right now I'm like, mm, so I'm gonna be done for tonight. Tomorrow's plan is to do all the shelving. Build the platform at the bottom, put all the shelving in, and then I'll touch up some paint. And then I'm also gonna order some organization baskets and stuff to put all of our pantry items back in. Welcome to day three of our pantry makeover. Today we're actually going to be putting in the shelves and building the platform. We're going to build the platform first, but first, before we do anything, I'm going to clean the floor in here because the platform is going to kind of close it all off and we want to make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to clean it again once we're all done because there's a lot of cleaning involved with home renovations.
you guys welcome to day four of our pantry remodel I just pulled up to Target and today I'm going to be getting all of the organization things that we'll need for our pantry so I want to kind of organize it on our counters all of our pantry items and today we're gonna to be putting up the shelves and I'm gonna be painting kind of like touching everything up making it nice and clean and then tomorrow we'll be adding everything back into the pantry and we will finally have our kitchen back and I will have less anxiety. So I'm at Target right now and we're gonna go see what kind of organization baskets, Lazy Susans, I kind of have a vision for it. I have a lot of Pinterest boards and I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about it. So let's see what they have here. Okay, we are home from Target. I pulled my hair back because it's a little warm today. Um, I decided to go with this one large basket my to put on the bottom of the pantry. My thought is to put all of our like tote bags and stuff in here. And then I got these small black baskets. I got four of them. They were like $4 a piece. I forget how much this was. Probably like eight dollars or something i got the cheap plastic ones because they're a lot easier to clean and that was my goal and i think uh, the black kind of matches the features in our kitchen i got two lazy susans just they look like that um they're whatever the cheapest one was at target is the one that i got so I got two of those and then I got this, these canisters at Target as well. And they are plastic and they have like the white lids and there's three of them in here. I was just going to get like only two, but two would have been $20 or I could have gotten the pack of three for $20. So I want to put like flour, sugar, like all of that stuff in here. My goal is to always have everything sealed in the pantry because we're not messing with no bugs up in here, okay? So I'm gonna start organizing the pantry items on my counter so then I can make sure if I bought enough baskets or if I need to go out and get more. We brought in all of the wood to make the shelves. This is what the shelves are gonna look like. We decided to go with a wood that was already white um, because wood is just really expensive overall and we thought this would have the least amount of work on me. I will be touching them up with white paint, but all the other options I would have had to like sand and paint and like, it would have been so much work as Jesse gets the nail gun ready. Okay.
and welcome to day five of us remodeling our pantry. Today is painting. So let me show you kind of what it looks like from last night. This morning I went ahead and taped the bottom because I am going to kind of touch up the trim or like the baseboard too. So I went ahead and taped with frog tape. Let me hold on. Let me show you. Obviously not sponsored, but this is the best painting tape, in my opinion, on the market today. It keeps the lines like so clean and straight. I love this tape. It is a little bit more than like the blue tape, the blue painter's tape or whatever. It's the best. Just trust me. Okay, so we did, we had to kind of do a little bit of sliver like cut a little sliver um, to make it like solid across the board. But we went ahead and caulked all the seams. You can kind of tell, kind of not. It does look better. It's gonna look so much better with like a fresh coat of paint. So I'm gonna wipe down the shelves, even though I've done this like a million times and they're still dirty. But I'm gonna go ahead and start the painting process. I am sweating, I'm covered in paint, but it's painted. Um, there's just some places that need a little touching up. Painted, it looks so much better. Can't get over how much better it looks. I know it probably all looks the same on camera, but it looks different in person. Um, we're gonna let this dry for a while. We're gonna go out this evening, and then hopefully when we get back, we can put everything back in our pantry and have our kitchen back.
documentary turned out. Thank you so much for watching this journey of us remodeling our kitchen pantry and organizing and all of that. This was a five day project. We spent less than $500 and that is mostly due to like the cost of wood nowadays is just really expensive. So that went into like that was a huge factor in the price, but overall we spent less than $500 on this entire transformation, including all of the organizational items as well. So I definitely think that it was well worth this investment, but thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next home reno project. Bye.